Okay, guys, I'm here to rant because the ick is real. Men are mad. And every single day, men surprise me more and more. Ladies, stay woke. These men are mad. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And guys, before we jump into today's episode, don't forget to subscribe on your way in. And don't forget to subscribe to our newest member of Fiend Gang, Detective Warg. His channel will be linked in the video description. But without further ado, let's jump into the rest of today's video. Okay, guys, I'm here to rant because the ick is real. Men are mad. And every single day, men surprise me more and more. Cool, here's the thing, the way I was brought up, the way I am, the way my mum has brought me up, I would never ever go out somewhere with a guy or like, with anyone really, but we're gonna talk in the context of a date and a guy, yeah? I'd never ever go out without enough money to like, you know, fend for myself, find my way home, to like, pay for some of the bill if I need to, like, obviously, it's a nice gesture, like, if you've enjoyed yourself on a date, you feel like, yeah, I like to go, I like the date, I don't mind paying for the whole thing, yeah, that's a nice gesture, but me being who I am and how I've been brought up and how I am, I would never sit there with my two long hands and not even bring out my purse or not even say like, oh, like, do you want to go halves? I'm not even like, make, show inclination that I, if you must, if I must, or if you need me to, or if you would like me to, I can pay and I have no problem doing that. Do you get Yo, honestly, shout out to this woman for not expecting the guy that she is seeing to pay for the bill. There are far too many girls out here who expect men to pay for their meals while they themselves are not even close to being traditional. Yeah. Hair is my thing and where men are mad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You as a guy now, you've been begging me, begging me, begging me, begging me. Oh, can we go here? Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we go out? I've, like, you've not been my priority, like, in the least rudest way ever, like, I've got work, I've got other stuff I'm doing, like, I'm just not bothered, like, I'm not eager to go out with you. I've so, let me get this straight. This guy is asking you out repeatedly, but you always, every single time, have been busy. Guys, if you ask a girl out and she says anything other than an excited yes and works with you to make a time, just move on and you will save yourself so much time. I finally found some free time. I'm like, cool, we can go out. Like, whether in your head you think it's a date, we're going to assume he thinks it's a date. Yeah? It, to me, it's just like, yeah, cool, we're going to go try somewhere new. In your head, you think it's a date. And this is why men are mad. <laughs> He thinks it's a date because it is a date. Listen, if a guy is asking you out, he is not asking you out about your damn, you know, to talk about your damn house cat, okay? He's trying to get some, at least eventually. Some guys will not own up to that, but for you to sit here and claim plausible deniability is laughable. This is why men don't trust a lot of modern women, because, you know, the guy wants to get with you and sees you in a romantic light, but you say, oh, he's just a friend. I didn't know he viewed it like that. Get out of here, man. You've been begging me, begging me to go out. We finally agreed to go out now. The date quotation mark is in a few days and you're talking to me about petty money. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How are you talking? Wait, wait. <laughs> you haven't even gone yet. It's not even a thing like I'm sitting in a car, like it's the day of the day and I'm sitting in a car and you're now talking to me about petty money. The date is in a few days and you're talking to me about petty money. And this is what th doesn't make sense in my head. Me being me, I would offer anyways, but you haven't even given me the chance to offer. Like, do you have, shame is free. Like, shame is actually free. Like, my thing is, yeah, taking my morals, morals aside, like, if we take away my morals, yeah, you who's been begging me, begging me, begging me to go, on a, go out, go on a date or whatever, you shouldn't even have it, the inclination in your head that, oh yeah, this girl should pay me petrol money. Like, if we're taking my morals aside, forget about what I would have done anyways. Taking my morals aside, since you was the one that was so eager for us to go out, why are you here? Like, the first thing in your head is this girl needs to pay me petty money. It's not like I'm your boy and I'm like, oh, can you drop me down the road quick, please? And you're like, yeah, cool, but you need to pay me petty money. I actually agree with her here, guys, and she does make a point. You shouldn't be focusing on getting women at all, let alone if you can't afford petrol money. If you can't afford petrol money, then the last thing you can afford to be doing is to be talking to women on Instagram, giving them free attention and validation. You have been begging me to go out and you're here talking to me about paying money. <laughs> Like, it's not even like it's the day of. Like, it's a few days until we was meant to go out. And you're talking to me about paying money. Like, shame is free. Like, despite the fact that I would have offered anyways, 
Like, the ick is real. And this is why I have the ick, because what the hell? Like, yes, I would have offered, but you haven't even given me the chance to offer. And it's a few days before we go out and you're asking me. Ladies, stay woke. These men are mad. In the end, shout out to this woman for at least being the type of person at least she says she is to split the bill at the end. I mean, to, you know, to reach for her wallet. Uh, that being said, guys, don't waste your time chasing these girls. Chase goals for yourself instead. Uh, you will thank yourself later. And if men have all the answers, why is the earth dying? If women have all the answers, why can only a fraction of you hold a man down for more than three months at a time? If men should be world leaders, why are we in war? If women should be world leaders, why can only a fraction of them obtain regular leadership positions? And don't tell me it's, oh, the patriarchy, that's why we can't lead. Because you are able to legally create your own companies anytime you want to. If men know it all, why do they fuck up every time? Most men if women know it all, why do they waste their time posting stupid TikToks that make no sense? low in testosterone most men are operating out of their feminine more than they are their masculine men were men until women bitched about men being men most women aren't going to like this but if you stop complaining about the way men do things and men bringing in income and men opening doors and men doing things that men are supposed to do maybe they would be men and men living in their feminine isn't a bad thing men can provide and be masculine and also be feminine men don't want to date women anymore because they act like you so yeah, they get their gratification from porn. How about women start acting like women again and men will start acting like men again? This woman makes a good point about the uh, prawn usage. Guys, if you haven't already, stop watching prawn. It is incredibly bad for you. It screws up your energy levels, your sleep, and your dopamine production. Also, this girl hit the nail on the head. There is no need for men to go around taking a lot of women seriously if all they do is act like the woman, the woman on the TikTok that we just saw right there. Yo guys, it's Taylor here. Just want to say thank you if you made it to the end of today's episode. Before you go, remember to subscribe to our other Fiend Gang members. Their channels will be linked in the video description. Our newest member is Detective Warg, so make sure that you go and show him some love. He's putting out daily content for you guys. Also, one of the characters I use and also a lot of our thumbnail artwork is done by an artist called The Gecko Ninja. He's absolutely fantastic and his socials are going to be linked in the video description as well if you want to commission him for some amazing art. Otherwise, take it easy, gents, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.